start the sentence. Conditions for interference. The first condition is the waves participating in the interference should be coherent waves. There should be coherent waves. Coherence. Coherence waves means the waves should be have same amplitude. Same amplitude. Same amplitude. And second one is same wavelength. They should be same wavelength. Same wavelength. And the third one is the third one is constant constant R constant R zero phase difference zero phase difference that means the waves should be have same amplitude same wavelength and constant phase difference or zero phase difference Constant zero, uh, constant phase difference means suppose this is a wave, this is a first wave. Okay, another wave should be same amplitude. That means like this, same wavelength. That means there should be exist like this. Okay, now if you look at here, is both are maintaining a same phase or not? Same. If you look at here, they are in phase. Here, same phase. Here same phase, here same phase. So throughout, that means here phase difference is phase difference is zero. So the phase difference is zero. Here automatically first degree turbulence takes place here. For example, the first wave is traveling like this. That is also having the same amplitude, same wavelength, and another wave traveling. In a opposite phase. So here, if you look at here, this these two are in outer phase. It is a half circle. That means the phase angle is here 180 degrees. How much 180? If you see here 180 degrees, if you see here 180 degrees, if you see here 180 degrees, that means here the phase is constant. The waves are maintaining a same amplitude same wavelength and either may be a phase difference zero or constant those waves should be called as coherent waves one important point here we have to remember is one important point here we have to remember is two independent sources never be coherent two independent sources never be coherent if you want to produce the coherent source we have to be use two slits that was explained by Engs in his double slit experiment Engs double slit experiment you have studied in your intermediate level okay so coherent waves if you want to produce for example, this is a source. This source producing the crest trough, crest trough, like this. In the propagation direction, if you take the two poles, okay, those are also called as simply slits. So this is acts like a first slit acts like a one source, and another another one acts like a second source these two sources are coming from the same source that's way these two are having same amplitude and also same wavelength that's way those two are called as coherent sources this is the first condition for sustaining a interference the second one is the separation between the light sources should be as much as possible very small the uh, separation between it should be small to get large bandwidth large bandwidth bandwidth means here i have shown you the two sources are participating in the 
interference. So automatically, if you place a screen at a particular distance, so here what we can observe is here on this screen, on this screen we can observe a concentric successive alternate bright and dark fringes, bright and dark fringes. So like this, bright fringes are due to the constructive interference, and the dark fringes, dark fringes are due to the destructive interference. To observe those interference pattern, okay, the distance between these two should be very small and the next one is the displacement of the screen from the two sources should be quite large. The distance between the source to the screen, it should be large. Distance between the seats should be small and these are also very small pinhole like okay the distance between the source to the screen should be large then we can observe the uh, interference fringes as a separate and also very clear manner the next one is the amplitude of the interfering waves should be equal i have already told you and also the wave if the waves participating in the interference is polarized light they should be same state of phase they should be same state of phase and also the final one is the screen should be dark why why because for example if you see here here we are not clearly observing these destructive and destructive fringes okay dark fringes destructive due to the destructive interference dark fringes are forming Okay, we are not clearly observing. Why? Because here the screen is not dark. Suppose if the screen is dark, we can clearly observe the maximum intensity. In between the maximum intensity, we can observe the, the darkness also. That means zero intensity also. These are the conditions for the sustaining a interference. Okay.